Howdy, it's Herb. Welcome to my uh, workshop. Uh, last month, I uh, got a screwy ball. Actually, got two of them. There's a smaller one than the one inch. Uh, from Chuck Bomarito outside Screwball. And I took these uh, to the uh, our local uh, machinist club meeting and you know everybody thought they were great except they said well, they're going to mar the surface of your your part uh, you know and uh, whether that's a big deal or not I don't know but I got to think about that problem and uh, Tom Lipton of Ox Tools uh, showed a, a device, and I think it was commercially made, that uh, held a ball, and uh, there was two two jaws, sort of like this. Well, you know, you don't want to have to uh, be fiddling with the ball and all that at the same time. So I went to McMaster Car, and I got a one-inch ball with a quarter twenty uh, hole in the back or in one side of it and actually goes in this one okay now the ball is secure in there. And you'll notice that it's not seated quite halfway down. Actually, it's seated about 350 thousandths. So it'll give you plenty of room to articulate. And I milled off the, uh, the ends at an angle. These are 30 degree angles uh, so that it uh, doesn't interfere. And still, I could probably done a better job, but you know, real out reality, you're not going to try to put stuff that's too far off. It wouldn't hold it, say 30 degrees or whatever. I had this uh, part. This is a, actually a, a little jig that I do to cut off screws to length and, and screw them in, and, and then go to the belt sander and sand off the, the end of the screw. Anyway, I cut it down at an angle so that uh, I could demonstrate this, and we'll go demonstrate it on the vise. But basically, this part goes up against the fixed jaw of the vise, and this will go like that and uh, and hold the hold the part in uh, with contact all across here, and of course hold the back. So let's go uh, break to the uh, device and I'll show you how it works. Okay, we got the part in here on a, some parallels. And uh, so I'll show you how this works. With the, You can see uh, how it's holding the part here. Uh, it's uh, even though that cut is not exactly straight, it's holding it on on a couple of places, which you would have a hard time holding that device uh, otherwise. So uh, Chuck's uh, works real well, but uh, this works. Uh, Okay, two. Only a disadvantage of this is it takes up somewhere around two inches your vice uh, depth, and uh, 
it's a, a little bit uh, difficult to manipulate where the, the screwy ball is a lot easier to use. And uh, I think uh, both of them have their, uh, their uses. So that's, that's it for the uh, uh, articulating uh, vice uh, jaws. Uh, I suppose these could, you could make these where they were quick to attach here on the back and uh, uh, actually put them into the uh, Traveling jaw on the on the vice uh, that would uh, probably be a better better deal, and I'll probably do that where you put a, a couple of the uh, uh, slotted uh, screws where you could you could put it in there, and uh, that should be easy enough done. Anyway, that's. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. One other uh, thing I thought about on this is you can use this like a screw ball. Uh, this goes up against the moving jaw and of course it's uh, secured with that quarter twenty uh, cap head set screw or cap head uh, screw. Uh, and you don't need this if you just want to uh, quick and dirty way to do it. That's uh, that's uh, essentially the same as the screw ball, but it gives you uh, uh, a little more purchase to uh, hang on to the ball. So anyway, uh, I have plans available for this. Uh, if you email me, I'll send you a PDF of uh, the drawing, and uh, my email is Herb H E R B at H W Blair B L A I R dot com Herb at H W Blair dot com and I'll uh, I'll uh, send you a uh, a PDF of the uh, of the drawing for this and the part number for the the ball from uh, McMaster Card. Thanks again.